guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Today, I could not be more excited for a multitude of reasons. Number one, simply being the topic of today's video, which is finding your curl type. Y'all be sliding into my DMs, asking, sending me pictures of your hair type, asking, is this a 2C, is this a 3B? And the amount of messages I get about this are insane. So I figured I would address it once and for all, show you pictures, show you products that will work for each different hair type. And we are just really gonna dive in deep today. So I hope you're as excited as I am. Number two reason I'm excited is because I just had white cheddar popcorn and I'm feeling really good. The final reason I am so excited for today's video is that it is brought to you and sponsored by SGX NYC and I'm really, really excited. I first saw this product at Target like a couple months back and I was like, hmm, what is this? Because it's affordable products. I mean, they're really affordable. They're all under $15, but they are extremely, extremely comparable to prestige brand name products. So we will dive into it. I will show you products from their brand as well as other brands that will work for you depending on your hair texture. Let's do it. First and foremost, I would absolutely love if you would comment down below letting me know your hair type, if you know it. If you don't, comment at the end, letting me know once you realize. I would love to go through the comments and see 3A, 2B, 4C, and just like see the range, you know? I just think it'd be really, really cool. So do comment below letting me know your curl pattern, and if you don't know, I will help you today and then you can do that and we can see the differences. So jumping right off the bat, there are four different types of hair. You have type one, type two, type three, and type four. So type one is your straight hair, meaning there is no wave in your hair, there is no curl in your hair, there is no super curl in your hair, it is just stick straight hair. Next we have the type 2 category which is your wavy babies and that is what I definitely consider and classify myself into. Next we have type 3 curls. I'd say this is the type of curl that you most see in advertisements for curls. It's kind of like that perfect ringlet curl. It's not loose, it's not super tight, it's just, you know, your stereotypical curl. Last but certainly not least, we have the type four curl. This is the curliest curl of them all, the tightest, most, most coiliest, um, and that is our type four curl. Now with any chair type, we have a subcategory of A through C. So you have 3A, 3B, 3C, as well as 4A, 4B, 4C, you get the gist. Now I have seen so many absolutely ridiculous curl charts on Instagram um, and online in general, some that I've been tagged in. Uh, sometimes I get classified as a 2A on the curl chart, sometimes they put me as a 3A. All of this to say, don't take your number and letter so seriously, you can definitely have multiple letters or even have some waves and some curls. I'm sure you're wondering what I consider myself. Um, most days I consider myself a 2B lately and recently. Um, if I want to make my hair more defined, I use different products and it's typically less voluminous and I am then mostly a 2C and I might have one or two 3A curls that I get very excited about. So let's go ahead and jump on in to our wavy babies. So starting with the 2A wave, this is just one step up from straight, so it's kind of got just a little bit of a wave to the hair. Um, it's nothing, you know, it's not forming curls, it's just got that barely there S shape. Now moving on to our type 2B. This hair type has a little bit more of an S shape. It's typically prone to more frizz and like a little bit more voluminous than our type 2A. And this hair type, well really all of the two hair types are prone to um, not really being able to hold definition throughout the day as well as a three or type four hair. So the type two wavy, in order to not wash their hair every single day, definitely needs to perfect refreshing their hair so that they can um, leave it for two, three, four days and still maintain the nice definition. Um, moving on to the type two C, this is just shy of curly, so it's a very clear S shape. Um, some pieces might curl slightly, it's just a little bit tighter. Now these are my personal recommendations as a type 2B, 2C wavy with highly porous hair due to highlighting it. For the styler recommendation, today I did use SGX NYC Curl Power Cream. Um, 
I really enjoyed this cream because it really was weightless hydration, which is perfect for my hair. But I also really want to recommend the Curl Refreshing Mist. Um, this is perfect for if you just find that your hair doesn't last throughout the day. Okay, maybe by the end of the day, your hair is looking more like a 2A and it started as a 2C. Using a refreshing mist is absolutely key. And every single product from this brand smells incredible, might I just add. It's not like a super, super strong smell, um, but it just smells expensive. <laughs> I'm probably not allowed to mention the brand that this product smells like, but it's a very, like, insanely expensive line, and it smells like identical, and it is. Woo! It's good, sis. So for the shampoos, if you have a drier uh, hair texture and you're looking to have your shampoo not strip away moisture while still allowing for, for volume, I would definitely recommend Prose's custom formulation shampoo. My personal formulation is just so hydrating, so creamy, but still allows me to have great volume. And I use that on days where my hair is really dry. Whereas if my hair is really, really oily, I will use Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Line Shampoo. Um, it's amazing at getting volume. And I will say it's it's definitely not stripping, but it's more stripping than the pros one. Um, so it's perfect if you have a little bit of oilier hair. Moving on to conditioner, I absolutely love Shea Moisture's Coconut Daily Hydration Conditioner. I love this conditioner. It is the coconut one in the white bottle and it is so good. By the way, all of these products will be linked in the description box down below for you to easily find and check out. For our mask, you already know what I'm gonna say. Diva Curls Melt Into Moisture. I rave about this mask 24 seven. You know, it's pricey, but it's worth it every penny there are dupes but not really honestly like there aren't like it's just one of a kind it does its thing it gets the moisture it gets the definition and it just works now moving on to our type 3 curl uh, i automatically automatically picture aisha spisha on instagram um it's just that beautiful perfect kind of looser curl that has a lot of space in the middle where you could fit like, you know, I don't know, a highlighter in it or like a piece of chalk or something like that. Um, and it would just fit perfectly. Moving on to 3B, this is a slightly tighter curl. Um, I picture Bianca Renee today and I have her recommendations. I reached out to homegirl. We chatted on the phone actually today. We just got off the phone a couple hours ago. 3B is basically a tighter curl, it's not quite like a super tight coil, um, more so you could probably fit like, you know, a fatter pin in it, but like a pencil would be more so for your 3C. So fitting a pencil or even like something even slightly thinner than this would be your tighter coil curl just, just before you get to the four category. So I reached out to Bianca Renee and asked her for her favorite shampoo, conditioner, mask to help those of you who have type three curls. So for her personally, she said that she is absolutely loving Riso's Curls hydrating shampoo right now. And as far as conditioner, she is a hardcore Diva Curl decadent conditioner. She has been using that for as long as I can remember. Um, that is the most moisturizing conditioner that Diva Curl has to offer. Uh, once again, all these products will be linked in the description box down below. And I mean, that girl has loved that product for forever. In terms of masks, she's absolutely loving a more affordable option from Maui Moisture, and it is for the dry hair mask. It's the one in the pink bottle. And then in terms of stylers, as a recommendation from me for the three curls, um, I would definitely recommend the SGX NYC Dry Touch Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I constantly get messages from those of you with 3A, 3B curls saying that your hair is really weighed down, um, which does have a lot to do with your cut. That's a whole nother video, but I think using a dry shampoo, really shake the roots, use a pick, get in there and pump up the volume is key. So for volume, the cut, using a pick, picking it out, and then using a dry shampoo, specifically 
volumizing dry shampoo. Lots of dry shampoos will simply just kind of like soak up any residue or oils, um, kind of just, you know, I don't know, add a little nice scent, refresh your hair. No, 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 no. A volumizing dry shampoo is what you need to really pump up the volume. Y'all, I am sweating for real. I don't want to turn the fan on because I feel like it'll be distracting to this important information, but like, I'm hot. Okay, anyways, <laughs> moving on to our type four curls. In my personal opinion, the type two and type four are the most underrepresented in everything uh, when it comes to ads for hair products, for curls, when it comes to um, media, I would say the type four is even more underrepresented. All of the types, one through four, are as equally important and beautiful and need to be represented. That's, once again, a whole other video. For our type four curls, this is a coarser, more coily curl. 4A is very similar to 3C, but just even tighter, um, where a pencil would not fit through it. Um, moving on to 4B, this is more of like a zigzag pattern almost. It's, you, it's not really a spiral, it's more of a zigzag. And then moving into 4C, there's almost not a visible curl pattern. It's so tight that you don't even see a Z or an S or, you know, a coil. It's just really, really, really tight. So I reached out to my girl, EC, who I met um, on an influencer trip. She is so cool. That's my girl. She is um, African Beauty on Instagram and YouTube. She is popping. Like, <laughs> if you don't follow her, like, you're missing out. Anyway, so for shampoo, EC recommends the Pantene Gold Series. I've never tried this range. I'm curious to see if it would work on my wavy hair texture, but she just absolutely loves it um, and highly recommends it for those of you who have a tighter curl. Moving on to conditioner, she absolutely loves Carol's Daughter's Cocoa Cream. Once again, personally never tried this product. It would probably most definitely be far too heavy for my hair texture. Now in terms of masks, she told me that she absolutely swears by Texture ID's Deep Treatment Mask. She's mentioned it on her videos so many times. You can tell she definitely swears by it and she would recommend it as a mask for any of you with type four hair. Now in terms of stylers from the SGX NYC range, I would definitely, definitely recommend the Curl Refreshing Mist. I really feel like this can be used for all hair textures, but I know um, from talking to EC and other girls with type four hair, they have told me personally, number one, that their hair in their opinion is the hardest of all curl types to manage um, and they need to wash their hair the least. And so they use lots and lots of refreshing sprays, re refreshing um, wetting down their hair, using new creams, etc. So I think using the refreshing mist, which is sulfate free, mineral oil free, paraben free, petroleum free, alcohol free. It's free of all of the really, really harsh things that would dry your hair out, which is exactly what type four hair does not need. So I definitely think that this product is extremely versatile for all hair types. I hope that this video has been super helpful. I sincerely apologize if this video was like 30 minutes long, but I just felt like I really needed to dive in and explain each hair type, show you products from some of your favorite influencers of all different hair textures, and I just have been so obnoxiously excited about this video. So yeah, biggest of thank yous to SGX NYC for partnering with me on this video. I pitched them this idea and they were like, we love it, we love it, we love it. I've been trying their products for a little over a month. I genuinely like them and I love that they do what they say they're gonna do. They're under $15, but yet they still feel and smell like more of a prestige brand. Um, and I like how versatile the products are. They've got products for all different hair types, whether you are one, two, three, or four. Um, so yeah, everything will be linked in the description box down below. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.